Bristol City make two changes to their side, which going into the international break saw Aaron Connolly withdrawn from the Ireland squad and he's only on the bench today. Ryan Alsop is the goalkeeper. The two players that come in are Ruben Vinagri in defence, Sean McLaughlin dropping out of the back four. Greaves is moved across to join Alfie Jones, who on his 100th start for Hull City is against the club that built him up from childhood, Southampton. Cyrus Christie completes the back four. Then it's Tyler Morton and John Michael Seri in midfield. Scott Twine, Jaden Philogene, and, and just a second league start for Jason Lakilo with Liam Delap, the man up front. The bench for the Tigers is an incredibly strong one in comparison to seasons and matches gone by. For the Tigers today, they've got Matt Ingram on the bench, Louis Coyle, Sean McLaughlin, Ozan Tufan, Greg Doherty, Aliar Syed Maner, Shadama Traore, Dogan Sinek, and of course, Aaron Connolly. Then playing towards Philogene. Philogene will now flick it back towards Vinagri. It was a uh, Good touch then from Philogene on the halfway line, bringing the ball down perfectly, and a slip in the defence, sees De Lapp in, De Lapp in the penalty area, time to twist and turn, and he shoots a little too late at the front post, and Pazunu blocks it well. But Philogene on halfway, what an incredible touch. He had to almost bring his bootlaces up towards his chest to flick the ball, he got the weight spot on. And then a, a slip in the defence by Harwood Bellis allowed De Lapp in on goal and maybe he should have taken one or two touches and then struck with the left foot, foot. he just waited too long. Sulimana is able to twist, turn and play the ball into the area. Ruben Vinagri on the six-yard line is able to get a touch which angles away from anyone in a white shirt. But Walker Peters darts away from Philogene. Big chance, small bird scores! Will Smallbone, six yards out, and Walker Peters got away from Jaden Philogene a little too easily, and despite Hull City's positive start, Southampton have sucker punched them, and the Tigers again at home have found themselves fall behind. As Jones plays across now to Jacob Greaves, everything along the floor for the Tigers, Philogene in a pocket on this left-hand side, Ruben Vinagri going with him, but it's a ball in field to Morton. Morton trying to push it through towards De Lapp. First time unsuccessful, but chips a ball out wide towards the Kilo. He's in the area, tries to play it through to Twine. It's a little bit messy, but it will not matter because Liam De Lapp has tucked into the back of the net. It didn't take long for an equaliser. And Hull City have tempted that opportunity for a goal throughout the first half by getting into the penalty area. And Liam Delap has his first goal in front of the Hull City crowd at the MKM Stadium. Netted in the international break for the three Lions. And now has his first goal at the MKM Stadium. Here is Lakilo. Lakilo on halfway. Will uh, twist and turn away from Stuart Armstrong. Christie will play towards Alfie Jones, who's tried to lift the ball forward, and Delap has timed his run well. He's into the penalty area. Is there anyone waiting in black and amber? Philogene was one of them. Morton is the next. He shoots towards goal. Philogene gets in the way with three in white shirts in the six yard box. And for a moment, the Tigers most certainly looked like they were scoring, but not to be. Balls with Harwood Bellis, the centre-half charging forward now. Up towards Walker Peters. Aliar closes him down as Vinagri is allowed to stay compact in the back four, which is very compact indeed. It's only about 15 yards between them as it does. He plays now to Ryan Manning. The patient build-up from Southampton, Downs into the penalty area, staying on his feet, comes to Smallbone, big save, huge save from Alsop. Will Smallbone was in the perfect position, I think the flag had gone up for offside anyway, as Ryan Alsop makes a strong commanding dive to his left. Ball was pushed back to an unmarked Will Smallbone. There's going to be a free kick 
for Southampton near the halfway line. Into the final minute as Walker Peters connects with Mara. Vinagre standing his ground as Southampton enter the penalty area. Vinagre able to usher the ball out for a throw in as they try to play it down that right side, Southampton. Normally, we're used to seeing Hull City finishing the stronger, but it's the visitors doing all the attacking, and they have a chance right at the end! Ryan Fraser! 95th minute, the cross into the box, and the pressure has told! And Southampton are heading to the south coast with all three points.